Allie S. Cohen. I live in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I teach at the University of New Mexico College of Nursing, where I direct the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation Nursing and Health Policy Collaborative, which is basically a program for nurses getting a PhD in nursing with a focus on health policy. My special interest in health policy is children's health. And as a matter of fact, starting September 1, I'll have a one-year scholar-in-residence gig at the Institute of Medicine studying bullying policies and politics prevention to kids. I made a very huge career change, a uh, life change, when I was 22, 23. I decided to be a nurse. And I was not on that career path at all, at all, at all, at all then. I've had many moments where I've wondered if I made the right choice. Um, I was one of the first people who went for nursing as a second degree. It wasn't sexy, it wasn't popular, it was disdained. Um, so I had a major, I graduated in 1975 from college, and I had a major from Cornell in uh, international relations. And I'll tell you that at the time, I wanted to major in that, and there was no such thing at Cornell, and I tried to do an independent major, and I was told categorically that I could not, that that was not appropriate for an undergraduate degree. I was one foot out the door when I found a guy in the economics department, my last hope, and he said, this sounds like a great idea, just give me the paperwork and I'll sign it. So I made my own major in international relations at Cornell, despite their resentment and disdain. When I finished, I, uh, I lived outside of New York and was supposed to have a job at Macmillan, but it fell through, translating a Russian encyclopedia. And I went to Israel, where I had friends and relatives. And I ended up staying in Israel till August, and I lived those days on the kibbutz, and I was already spoke Hebrew pretty well. I was given a job with the children, which is not very usual. And as I was there and picking apricots and oranges and working in the factory and taking care of five infants, I decided I want to be a nurse. I'd already gotten into John Hopkins School of Advanced International Studies, and I turned it down. Now, I live, I'm a nice Jewish girl from Westchester. This did not play well with my family or friends at all. I found myself, in a way, you know, out there in the desert by yourself, thinking about life and thinking about what matters, what doesn't matter. And I saw a nurse who was a great role, a community nurse, took care of all these problems there. I always loved working with children. I was happy. I was happy working with these kids. And I said to myself, I've always been good with people. I love working with people. In any job, you have to work with people. But I had a lot of satisfaction from and it was easy for me to work with these little infants. And so I thought, why not? Why not? You know, why not? Why not? I had a lot of junctures of road to take or not. I was living in Manhattan and I was working in Newark, New Jersey as a pediatric nurse practitioner at a children's hospital. It doesn't exist anymore, but it was in Newark. And I'd been there about a year or so, and I got a call from someone asking me if I wanted to be the Director of Public Policy and Research at the National League for Nursing. And I said to her, no, thank you, after much thought, uh, I like my job, I'm really committed to these children and families. Uh, I would like a job like that in about five years. And she said, almost, quote, sweetheart, these jobs don't come around all the time. You either take it now or you take the risk that you never will get a job like that. You have to decide by Friday which road you're taking. I kid you not. And I sobbed, and I gave notice to my boss, and I sobbed. And I still keep in touch with one family from there, and that I had to decide to, you know, get off the clinical, the practice track at that point, and take this enormously unique opportunity. Or stay with it and take the chances that an opportunity like that or some configuration of it would come along later on. That take my chances, you know. The you know the box. You want the box or the curtain? So I picked the curtain. You know, I really didn't know, but I took I took the curtain. For those of us that are presented with choices, you know, not everybody is. But those of us who are given choices, there's always the road not taken. You know, no matter how great 
the road you take seems, there's always the question, what if? I was pretty clear there was something about nursing that really drew me, and once I met nurses and nursing leaders who who were syntonic with me, you know, who had the same values and who recognized what I had to offer, uh, I felt very, I have felt very happy with my decision. Wow.